Hello guys, welcome back and thanks for joining me. Recently, I got bought the armbar driver from Gerber. Now, I've been using this for a few weeks in my pocket, carrying it about, seeing how handy it comes in. Yes, I know it looks like it's in the packaging. I cheated. I opened it well. It's a fantastic little tool from what I find. One-handed opening, a little fiddly, but one-handed shutting as well. Drop it in your pocket. It's a great little tool. Those beer drinkers, we've got a bottle opener. But it can also be used to break windows or to hammer in nails or anything else like that. You could use it to take out staples, try and take out nails, that sort of thing. So I thought best to carry it around for a bit and see how well it does. Now, I have got the driver one. I wanted the screwdriver, not the corkscrew. I'm not a wine drinker, I don't need the corkscrew. But I do use a screwdriver. Have I used this yet? Yes, I have. I used it to put the new rear mud guards on my bike. I also used it to do the saddlebag as well. And it is magnetic. So if you just listen, watch. Falls back in. There we go. Just slide straight in. So on one side, we've got our driver, and the other we've got our flathead. Flips and flat. There we go. It's not a bad tool. Screwdriver's not locking, so you do have to be careful. On the other hand, I've also got this, which is quite sharp. Could really do some damage there. You could open some bottles. Another reason I wanted it is you've got a set of scissors here. Scissors always come in handy. Split my nail the other day. Scissors out. Trimmed it off. Not a problem. Job done. They don't lock either. It's just the knife that locks. Eight tools. Go over say it's got eight tools. The screwdriver comes out two and a half inches, which is enough space. It's not great on Christmas morning when you're trying to get the screws out to put the batteries in, your daughter's presents, and you can't get it in the hole because the it's too big. But that's okay. It's not going to do everything, is it? And it's got a textured grip, which is brilliant. So on the back, you've got a little bit more information. It says it's an adenized handle. I had it in onyx colour, stainless steel, made in Oregon. I know some of you viewers probably don't live too far from there. I've got quite a few different languages on the back here. I only ever learnt English, I do regret that now. Never was good with languages. But you can see here, you want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tools. Is it going to replace anything you need a multi-tool for? No, it's not. Is it going to be able to do a lot of the job you want it to do? Yeah, of course it is. It's good to have in a pinch. It is a good little tool. I think it's absolutely brilliant. But it is what I want it for. Any of you guys would want one. You'd have to make up your own minds, I suppose. You can buy them for thirty-one ninety-nine and go outdoors, I believe. They are thirty-nine ninety-nine on Amazon. So the price does vary. It's designed to fit in your pocket like a folded knife and offer it's like a fully capable mortar tool but without all the features. So you've got an awl, a pro bar, a bottle opener, a two and a half inch long driver with a double sided bit as you've seen and a one handed opening fine edge blade and scissors. It's not your one stop shop but it is a fantastic tool nonetheless. I like it. I can seal the dust out my pocket and everything so far. So if we just open it all up, there you go, it's not bad, there's the Gerber armbar drive, fantastic, I hope you like that, if you do, please like, share, subscribe and hit that bell button, you'll know when I send out a new video, but most importantly guys, stay safe. And I'll be back with you soon for more eats, treats and MREs. Uh -huh.